Now, the Council of Governors has beaten a hasty retreat and agreed to accept the hospital equipment offered by the national government for county referral hospitals. Some of the governors, as we did report, had earlier refused to have the 38 billion shillings worth of equipment, citing unresolved issues. It is a matter that has been the subject of a tug of war between governors and the national government for several months now. That push and pull, however, now seems to have come to an end, but not without conditions. We want to allow those governors who have not signed the memorandum of understanding on the managed equipment, health equipment scheme, to be at liberty to sign. Just last week, the governors, while attending a retreat in Naivasha, swore not to accept the equipment, claiming that most of the details of the lease agreement had not been availed to them. Among the issues they raised was the lack of a public tendering process prior to the award of the lease. Today, however, they seemed to be reading from a different script. The signing, allowing the governors to sign, is for purposes of making it clear to the public the general public in Kenya that the Council of Governors is not op opposed, it is not entirely opposed to the managed equipment scheme. The governors, however, still insist that the leasing deal is still shrouded in mystery, especially on issues of who would be charged with the maintenance of the equipment. On Wednesday, Deputy President William Ruto, while appearing on Citizen TV, insisted that leasing would save the county government's money since the maintenance would now be tasked to the leasing company. The, the leasing comes with the equipment. It comes with the personnel to manage it. The issue of repairing it is on the, on, 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 on the person leasing the equipment to us. The maintenance, the repairs, everything. Okay. We pay for the service. Many counties will require for the program to succeed, budgetary support to put in place the infrastructure that is required for these equipment to function. The governors claim that they still have no idea from whom the equipment is being leased and are being forced to sign a deal whose full details they still do not have. Munya insisted that they are, however, ready to meet with the national government in order to iron out the details. In the meantime, the level 5 hospitals will now be getting new diagnostic equipment. Wilson Buru, KTN, Nairobi.